In today's episode of The Gardener, we look at grasses and how you can successfully incorporate them into your own garden. We started off the episode by visiting a grassland-inspired garden that ticks all the boxes when it comes to garden features. One element that caught my eye is the fairy spiral garden. That is a great way to bring visual interest and just take a little time out to calm down. So wasn't that garden absolutely beautiful? I love the fairy circle, the labyrinth that you walked and you took your time to get through. So if you don't have a bigger space like that, well, how can you replicate that? And you'll notice in that entire garden, even in that back wall, there was the circles had been replicated. And if you want to do something like this back home, I've got a fun little project that you can get involved in. The kids can love it too. And uh, something that the whole family can get involved in. So let's have a look at how we're going to do it. We've got an area of, of garden here that literally got nothing in it. The soil is pretty good, nice black humic soil. And what I want to do, the first thing is to turn the soil over down to a fork's length so we can get it prepped. So we've turned it over, we've raked it nice and flat, and now we're going to start with creating our spiral outline. And the easiest way to do that before we sow the seeds is to use some mealy meal. Now you can also use ordinary flour for this exercise um, or just some river sand. But what I want to do is I want to be able to see where I'm actually going to be sowing my seed. So in, instead of standing on this beautifully aerated soil, and squashing it all down again. I'm using a plank, popping it down here. I can then go into position, and then I can start the scent of my spiral and literally using my eye, be able to go around. So here we go. All right, guys, now that our little spiral is in place, we've got our outline. Doesn't it make life really, really much simpler? What I've got here is a little dibbler. Uh, this is for seed planting or bulb planting. And all I'm going to do is literally use this, follow the line where I have literally put the mealy meal down. And all I'm going to do is go around, follow it to create a little furrow, just a little trench which is then going to be where I'm going to put the seed into. There are little furrows, nice and simple. You'll see they're not very deep. Because normally on instructions, when you are sowing lawn seed, which I'm using here, you literally just sprinkle it on top and then rake it in to your ground that's been turned over nice and well. So to make sure that I'm actually going to get the seeds in this little furrow, I'm going to be using a little funnel. Now, this is of course not normally how you would sow seed, but because I'm wanting the spirals, I'm really just wanting lawn just to go start from the center and move all the way out that I'm really wanting to control it. So. In here, I've got some ordinary lawn seed. This is for shady areas. Pop it in here. So I'm going to be creating my own little fertilizer distributor, except this is a lawn seed distributor. And then literally above the area, keep your finger there, and then you just start sowing. We want this nice and thick, because we want these lines really, really prominent. And keep into the furrow. Don't 
Don't get out of the furrow, lads. Folks, so seed is in, and now what we're going to do is simply to make our life easier so that we are not moving the seeds in any way is I'm just going to be using some potting soil and literally just filling it up and covering it up by a couple of mills. This seed is really strong, and in terms of care, all you've got to do now is make sure that you keep it well watered every day until it starts germinating. After germination, you can cut back your watering to every second day. And once this is established, in fact, just as a lawn, if you were using it, it's actually really tough and does not require that much water at all. It's a tufted grass. Um, so as it gets more mature, so then the lateral shoots start coming out and that's when it actually starts thickening. But for this purpose, we just want that kind of Bart Simpson look. last thing I'm going to do using the plank that I was originally using literally just go over it all and give it a firming down this way we're getting the seed now in contact with the soil and making sure that there are no air gaps in there and once we've done that our seed is now tucked in in contact with our compost or oh, bit of water and away we go To ensure the grass seeds germinate and grow profusely, be sure to water the newly planted seeds every day for the first 10 days. After about 10 days, you'll see the grass starting to appear, literally popping through the surface of the soil. And soon, you'll have a spiral garden to remind you to stay calm and carry on gardening. <laughs>